a private mental health hospital in Hobart that houses Tasmania's only mother-baby unit will close next month. The state government's already promised to open a public mother-baby unit, but psychiatrists are worried hundreds of other Tasmanians with mental health conditions will now struggle to get treatment. Psychiatrist Majena Ryback has more than 2,000 patients. She was shocked to learn the private mental health hospital where she treats them is about to close. When they're in crisis, when they require inpatient care, we have no place to put them in. The St Helens Private Hospital in Hobart has 31 general psychiatric beds and an eight-bed mother-baby unit, the only one in the state. Its owner, HealthScope, plans to shut the hospital next month. We've got an ageing facility, heritage listed, uh, declining infrastructure, and coupled with declining demand, uh, means that the multi-million dollar investment just isn't viable for us. The news of the closure was broken to staff and patients this morning. It's devastated all of us. Many of us are in tears. Um, we're in shock, disbelief, that the fact that we're having our safety net, our hospital, taken away from us. Hundreds of patients attend day programs and receive outpatient treatment at the hospital. It's also one of only a few providers of electric and magnetic therapies for treatment-resistant depression. If we don't have that, those people's lives would be ruined. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. And as a doctor, that's my primary concern. And uh, I don't have answer. The closure of the private St Helens Hospital will mean the only option to get mental health treatment for many people will be the Royal Hobart Hospital or the private Hobart Clinic. But both of those facilities are already operating at capacity. The Tasmanian Health Service plans to open a new mother-baby unit before the St Helens Hospital closes. The Premier's also invited the hospital's staff to apply for jobs in the State Health Service. Laura Beavis, ABC News.